I'd like to welcome once again the ADB's the ADB president himself, Mr. Takahiko Nakao, on stage. Let's give him a warm Fijian welcome. Uh, thank you very much uh, for inviting me to this uh, uh, important and exciting uh, forum of uh, 30 under 30. Uh, thank you for warm introduction and I'm very glad to participate in this host country event on the vital role of youth in building the present and shaping the future of Fiji and the Pacific region. I'm pleased to see such a diverse group of youth at our annual meeting re representing such groups as the Special Olympics, ISEC, local Fijian youth organizations, and of course, our 30 under 30 representatives. <clears throat> I would like to recognize the young Fijian leaders who have been selected for today's 30 under 30 event. These young leaders are truly a positive force for change in Asia and the Pacific. We have talented entrepreneurs, high-tech innovators, teachers and change makers environmentalists and climate champions, athletes and artists, to name a few in the room today. I commend the commitment to building a more inclusive and sustainable region. Let me congratulate the Fijian government for leading this important 30 under 30 initiative. ADB also has put a great importance on the role of youth. Let me introduce several of them. First, in 2013, ADB established the Youth for Asia initiative to promote young people's involvement in ADB operations, both in design and implementation to reflect the views of young people. For example, here in Fiji, ADB supported the services of a young urban planner in city planning such as green spaces, cyber connectivity, and good uh, transport facilities through our Future Cities project, working in Lamy Town, just northwest of the capital, Suva. Second, in 2017, ADB have supported the establishment of the first Pacific office of the world's largest youth-led organization, ISEC, here in Fiji, in University of South Pacific. Since then, ISAC in Fiji has mobilized and raised capa uh, the capacity of over 350 Fijian and Pacific youth to contribute to development projects such as ecotourism, waste management, and mangrove forest rehabilitation. Third, ADB has engaged with the region's youth through the Regional Pacific Youth Council on important issues for young people, including employment and education. Fourth, ADB is supporting strengthening young people's access to quality education and skills development. For instance, ADB support to develop new ICT-enhanced campuses at the University of South Pacific in Kimbati and Solomon Islands. Uh, Kiribati and uh, Solomon Island would provide nearly 6,000 students with improved access to higher education. We have promoted technical skills development for more than 3,000 young people in Timor-Leste and in PNG soon. We have also promoted ICT for better education 
in all secondary schools in Samoa and will soon begin support for open, flexible, and distance learning resource responsibility for the Pacific region. Today, over 2 million people under the age of 30 live in Asia and the Pacific. And in Fiji, young people represent more than half of the population. ADB is a strong believer in the youth. We recognize that today's youth are innovative, driven, and agile change makers who can bring significant value to ADB's work across the region. Under ADB's new strategy 2030, our engagement with youth has evolved from listening to their voices and dreams to building their capacity and working with them on strengthening our operations. So uh, once again, I'd like to extend my thanks to our gracious host, the Fijian government, for continuing your great work to empower the youth in Fiji and in the Pacific. Generally speaking, I think uh, today's world is changing more quickly than before. So often, older people, I don't want to include myself, but uh, more difficult to catch up the change. And I, from uh, the news reports, uh, daily news reports uh, in the world, I find uh, there are more new ideas coming from uh, young people. They are often more social oriented. Uh, they are caring more communities. So I think I strongly believe uh, the young people will uh, make a future. And especially in Fiji, there are more young people in the Pacific. How to attract, continue to attract young people to countries, including um, more remote islands, is a challenge. But uh, I hope uh, uh, and I believe uh, this country is, uh, has been successful in attracting young people to the future of uh, this country. Thank you very much.